All right, guys, Nameless here. I'm starting up a new content series. Basically, I'm just going to be talking about anything and everything going on in Call of Duty. It'll be a little bit different from the podcast. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. Now, the talk of the town is that JCAP has retired. And what does that mean for Call of Duty? What does that mean for fans of JCAP, people who have supported him over the course of his career? Well, it means a lot. After 10 years of Call of Duty, Jacob has accumulated not one, but two world championships. He is a player who's won in multiple titles and is regarded as one of the best players of all time. JCAP's roots in Call of Duty extend not only to players, but to management, to teams, to owners, to people who have been around forever. His impact cannot be grasped. This is a player who has been around since the inception of COD Esports. I had the liberty of teaming with JCAP back in 2014, and to bring you guys down a small trip through memory lane, we won two championships together, and I believe that JCAP made me a way better player in the small amount of time that we teamed together. He then went on next year to win a world championship and continue to play at a very high level. This guy has been a part of some of the best teams in the history of Call of Duty, teaming with some players who are playing today still who have won multiple events as well. He has coached these guys from when they were rookies and they are now developed to some of the best players that we have in our current COD League. Now, I think a lot of people expected JCAP to retire, but I don't think anybody was ready for it. As you can see on the screen, 64,000 likes on this tweet. This was let out 24 hours ago. Actually, a little bit less than 24 hours ago, he let this tweet out and he said, I'm officially retiring from Call of Duty. It was an incredible 10-year run that gave me some of the best memories of my life, but it's time to move on to another challenge thank you for all the support over the year you know i read this tweet and i gotta say i sort of expected it but it still sucked to see we lost jcap and karma to modern warfare they both had very tough seasons in the first year of the cod league and a very tough run with their teams i think that after this game the desire for those two players to compete is just not there anymore i actually was able to speak to jcap briefly uh, in a DM to figure out sort of how his mind was running when he made this decision. Now, I do believe that JCAP can still compete at a top level, and I do believe that a lot of teams would benefit from having them on their roster. But JCAP's desires to play are not there anymore. His desire to win and to continuously grind six hours a day and watch film, it's not there. I talked to him, and he basically said that that's what it is. It's like, I want to win when it comes down to champs, but during the season, it's not the same anymore. He only gets those butterflies when there's a major tournament like the COD champion. And I really respect this decision out of JCAP because I do believe that he can land a sub spot or even a starting spot on some of these teams, given his history and his accolades that he has under his name. But I don't think he wants to just collect a paycheck, right? Like I don't think JCAP wants to be on a team getting paid money, knowing that he's not gonna win. And that's why I really respect this. He knew when it was time to step down and he knew that when that feeling subsided and when he wasn't going to be able to give it his all, that it was time to face a new challenge. Now what's next for JCAP, a lot of us don't know, but we do believe that him being a coach would be a fantastic decision. JCAP has taught some of the best players that we have in our current league. And over the years, he's been a player who's regarded as one of the most intelligent players in the league. He's a player who consistently grinds practice, a player who can teach you out of a rut when you're hitting you know, a rut on your team and you can't get out of it or you're on a bad streak and you're in your slump. JCAP is a player who's consistently pulled his teammates out of it and gotten his teams to beat the odds. Now, with all that being said, these are traits that are important to have as a person that is a coach or as a person that is a GM. He's going to know how to scout talent. He's going to know if you're good or bad. And he's going to know what you're doing wrong. So having him in your camp would be very important. So if there are any GMs watching this or any organizations or owners that need a coach or GM, this is a prime candidate for the job. Now let's talk about where he falls in the all time list. I don't think it's up for debate that he's a top 10 player of all time, but where do you place him? For me, it was a very tough situation to try to put JCAP uh, in that top five, given that there are players who just won another ring in Krim and Clay. So I think that solidifies them. And then you look at a player like Karma with three rings who has to be in there, Skump, has to be in that top five. And then I look at players like Aches and Formal and things like that, and I have to put them above JCAP as well. So I'm putting JCAP in my seventh place spot, and that's only because he's had that individual underperformance over the last couple of games. I think if JCAP was able to grab a championship in the last two games, I might be able to put him in that top six position, but he wasn't able to do it. So I'm gonna put him number seven. Now think about all the players who've competed in the history of Call of Duty. For JCAP to be the seventh best player is extremely impressive given that he has not been individually the best player on all of his teams. 
Now, being number seven for J-Cap, that is huge. I know he's going to be mad at me for saying that, but I think that that's an accurate placement for a player of his stature. There's only so many players who have world championship rings and players that you can even put in that discussion. But for him, for the seventh best player of all time, in my opinion, to retire right now is pretty wild, seeing as we're only one year into the COD League. Now, this is pretty scary for some of the old heads of the Call of Duty League, seeing as we're switching to 4v4. There's only a few of those guys left who have been playing from the very beginning. That means that some of the things that he brings to a team, 99% of players cannot do that. He's a player who... I think we'll see more players like JCAP retire going forward and switching over to management or coach positions, but I do believe all of these guys will stay in Call of Duty Esports. This is something special that we built up over the last 10 years that I don't think any of these guys want to miss out on, myself included. We want to be a part of it, and I know JCAP's going to want to remain in some sort of the spotlight. Now, right now, JCAP has just been streaming Warzone, building his community, and I believe last night he had a huge surge in viewers and subscriptions and love, so you guys should definitely go over there and show him some love and we got a bit of a very great farewell to jcap for giving us a fantastic decade